In this video, we are looking at market value ratios, problem 5-5 five, five in your homework. We have some uh, data from the Bikini Bottom uh, Corporation. We've got their total com common stock equity, their number of common shares outstanding, and the market price, market price per share. Now, in your book on page 88, it talks about market value ratios, and the key here is that uh, market value ratios measure the market's perception of the future earning power of a company as reflected in the stock share price. So we're going to look at, uh, well, we're going to look at price uh, to earnings ratio in a later problem, but for this problem, we're looking at book price per share and, and the market to book value ratio, which and I believe it talks about that uh, right here. So the market to book ratio is the market price per share of a company's common stock divided by the accounting book value per share. And then we get the book value per share. Uh, well, let me see. Yeah, the here, here you go. The book value per share is a is a proxy for the amount remaining per share after selling the firm's assets for their balance sheet values and paying the, the debt owed to all creditors and preferred stockholders. So you calculate that by taking the, uh, the total, uh, uh, total common stock uh, equity and subtracting the number or dividing, what am I saying subtract, dividing by the number of uh, common shares outstanding. So that's going to uh, give us what the book value is. So uh, knowing that, we can jump back to our problem and just say, okay, we just simply want to take the uh, common stock common stock equity, which is 4,500,000, and divide by the number of shares outstanding. Let's just do that real quick. It's going to be, uh, well, I've already got it here, but I'll just do it again. Uh, Four five zero 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 divided by six five zero 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 zero, and that's going to give us a, the dollar amount of our book price per share, which was six dollars and ninety two cents per share. And then we just simply take that and put it in the, in the denominator under our market price per share, which we're uh, given is uh, twenty five. Dollars, and that's going to give us our uh, a market to book value a ratio, which we would like to see, you know, high. Uh, that ratio being high is a good thing because that uh, tells us that our shares are uh, selling in the market for higher than the book value. And in this case, it is going to be, uh, you know, a fairly high because you're uh, dividing uh, 25 by 6.92, so it's going to be. Three point something, right? Okay.